<laughs> Ma, why are there so many things in the storeroom? Why is there dust tubes? Why is there mushrooms? Oh no! Odds are your bomb shelter looks like this as well. Bomb shelters have become an unquestionably accepted feature of our houses in Singapore and also the default storeroom in most houses. But this isn't a common feature at all. So why do houses in Singapore have a bomb shelter anyway? Civil defense bomb shelters started appearing at the foot of HDB blocks in the early 1990s. In 1996, the first set of HDBs equipped with built-in shelters were built in Haogang. Shelters were subsequently made compulsory with the Civil Defense Shelter Act 1997. So from May 1998, all new flats and houses need to have either household shelters located inside individual units or storey shelters in common areas. But why were they made compulsory in the first place? Then Minister for Home Affairs Wong Kan Seng said in Parliament that it was to prepare Singaporeans for any possible threat and provide NS men on the front line with psychological assurance that their families will be safe. Having bomb shelters in homes also means that residents, especially the older generation, can have quick access to protection during an emergency. Singapore isn't the only country with such a law. Hmm? Countries like Israel and Switzerland also impose requirements for residential buildings and apartments to have bomb shelters. The bomb shelter also has specific requirements. Every household shelter is airtight and has the ceiling, the walls and the floor reinforced with extra thickness. It also has a ventilation sleeve and a blast-proof door. To provide basic stay-in and communication facilities, there is also a presence of electrical and communication fixtures in steel or PVC and a conduit system. We are actually legally allowed to use bomb shelters for other things during peacetime and this has led to some creative uses. All that's required is that these things be easily removable if needed. But I know what you're thinking. If we get bombed, this room can really protect us, man. And what happens if the rest of the building gets bombed? Will we end up with a column of bomb shelters and no way to get out? The main purpose of a household shelter is to shield occupants from blast fragments during a bombing. Flying debris and glass splinters are usually the main cause of most casualties in bomb explosion incidents. However, the extent of protection depends on other factors like the area and size of impact. In 1998, the Ministry of Defence actually conducted a test explosion in Pulau Senang, where a bomb weighing more than 100 kilograms ripped a huge 3 meter wide hole about 3 meters deep in the ground but left a HDB bomb shelter unscathed. So you draw your own conclusions lah, huh? As for whether the entire column of bomb shelters will remain standing on its own, well, don't expect to see them stacked on top of one another. According to SCDF, only the part where the bomb lands will collapse. This means that there will at most be a partial collapse of several stories, and the shelter will remain standing as it can withstand great impact. Occupants trapped inside will be brought to safety using aerial appliances. The SCDF said that it is quite unlikely that most of the building will collapse anyway. Of course, your house isn't the only place you can seek shelter. There are also public shelters located all around Singapore. Today, there are a total of 54 MRT stations built to function as public shelters during a wartime emergency. More shelters are also located at the basement or void decks of 446 flats. And some of them have even been converted to neighborhood mama shops. Shelters at community centers are pretty commonly seen as well. There are 19 of them around the island and are generally used for other purposes during peacetime, such as tuition centers or study spaces. So, do you want to end up like me and find yourself running to a nearby public shelter to seek cover during a wartime emergency? If not, maybe here's your sign to do some proper spring cleaning. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell.